Ashley Book of Knots. The Ashley Book of Knots. Okay, this is my copy of the Ashley Book of Knots and this is not what it looks like if you were to purchase a copy of it. Um, this one has actually been leather bound um, and I inherited it from my father whose best friend this used to belong to, a guy called uh, Rory Bell. Now this guy very, very clever guy. He was actually a doctor um, and he was also a colonel in the army, the Royal Army Medical Corps. Um, and he rebound this book. And that's one reason that I love this book because I knew the person. He bound it. I'm not sure if it's actually called leather binding. Um, there is leather in it, but there's also like a cloth material on the front here with corners of leather again. But anyway, um, this is what he bound, um, and also on the spine it's got Ashley Book of Knots um, put in there as well. And it is in itself a beautiful, beautiful book. The book itself is 620 pages long, and so therefore there's a lot of knots in there. Um, in the back, just here, he's written Rebound by R.L. Bell with much bad language uh, under the tutology of a William Matthews by the look of it. A little bit faint here now. Um, and then it says M-C-M-L-X-V. Um, and I assume that could be 1965. Um, somebody will be able to tell me anyway what MCMLXV is. Um, there's also another character after it. It could be an I or a 1, which makes it 1966. So, yeah, year of the World Cup. Huh. Our only claim to fame. Um, this was when this book was produced. Um, and so, yes, it's got 620 pages. There's also pages for you to add notes on, which he's personally done. Eventually, I think I will add my own notes to this as well. But a beautiful, beautiful book. And this book itself was the book that got me into knotting. Um, simply for, for the fact is that this book, with this book, sorry, I also inherited this, well, bottle opener. Um, he's taken a normal, street, a normal uh, steel bottle opener. Um, it actually says crown cork on it on one side. And just in case you're not sure what it is, it actually says opener on the other side. Um, and he's actually put some beautiful, beautiful rope work onto this and made it into a very decorative lanyard as such for a bottle opener um, and I can remember this he, he obviously gave this to my dad years and years ago um, and I can remember it's all it was always hung in our kitchen at home when we were when I was young um, and you can see here where it's hung in the kitchen obviously the steam has rusted it slightly and therefore the rust has actually penetrated into the rope work itself, giving it a lovely patina at this point here. Even so, I mean, the whole thing is a beautiful, beautiful work of art. And I can remember when I got this, I thought to myself, how hard is it to produce something like this? And this is basically what got me into knotting as such, because I just wondered how difficult it was to reproduce something like this. Unfortunately, when I got this, I also got the Ashley Book of Knots. And so, I assumed that just by looking at the Ashley Book of Knots, I would be able to produce something like this. And the answer is, I couldn't. I really couldn't. So, 
I mean, the Ashley Book of Knots is a very, very beautiful knot. It is full of pictures, beautiful, beautiful pictures, diagrams, different knots, etc. Let me just centre that so we can see it a bit better. And as you can see, as I turn the pages, there is just lists of knots upon knots upon different knots. Some decorative, some practical. Um, and so therefore, I honestly assumed that by just looking at this book here, I could actually tie a knot. However, it didn't take me long to find out that in order to produce something like this, I needed to learn a lot more. And Ashley Book of Knots wasn't going to give me, or let's say the, the, the answer wasn't there instantly standing out at me, oh, this is how you make a lanyard as such. It basically breaks down the knots into individual knots. There are projects in here, so example here are lanyards, etc. But I just couldn't get my head round at the time on how to properly use this book and get all the benefits from it. Um, and so I was disappointed. I thought that just by picking up a book and looking at it, I would instantly be able to produce something really, really beautiful. And that wasn't the case. However, it is a beautiful book. And I do refer to this book on many occasions to look up certain knots, etc. But I don't know, maybe some people only use this book. But I, I personally, uh, when I first started out, I found it very difficult um, to actually get my head round it all. And I think probably the, the problem was that the only knot I really knew how to produce was a granny knot. And so therefore, and also you don't know the names of knots, etc. And so therefore you're looking in, you're staring at this thinking, oh yes, that's beautiful, etc, etc. But I wasn't sure on how to incorporate it into any rope work. Or at least if I, if I learned how to do a particular knot, I didn't know how to go on from making that particular knot, adding to it and say, for example, to produce something as beautiful as that. So yes, that's, that is my introduction to the Ashley Book of Knots. And really what happened was, I sort of, I was still interested in knots, but I had to search further to find out exactly what I needed in order to learn how to tie knots. And later on, I will show you some of the books that I learned from that had projects in that actually taught me how to go through the process of tying knots. Now, the other thing as well was that um, when I first started um, to do knots, I was only interested in decorative work. Um, I became very fixated on decorative work such as this. And also the other thing was that I wanted to steer away from synthetic chords, etc., colourful chords, because I just loved this traditional work here. It's it's just a beautiful example to me and it, it really got sort of my, my heart racing. I think also the other thing is that um, whenever I look at these two items together or even separately, um, I can even remember, you see, I was only a, a very young child at the time of when Rory Bell, the owner of this book, he actually, he, he, what he used to do was he used to go beach combing. And um, he would find himself old pieces of rope, string, net on the beach. And so he would, he would walk a few miles along the beach. This was in Aden. Um, and he would come back with a mess in his hands of just jumbled up string, rope, all tangled up, etc. He would then spend an afternoon untangling it and producing beautiful um, things 
And I used to sort of think, you know, it was a strange thing for him to do, to be sat on the beach. I used to think he was knitting as such. But actually what he was doing, he was producing wonderful works of art. And it wasn't until many, many years later that I would look at this, appreciate it. And then also looking at it, it would take me back to those wonderful days of sat on the beach, you know, it, with the surf in the background and it was just it, it's romanticized it i think for me but that's what really got me into knotting um and so this then is my ashley book of knots it is it is the bible as far as i'm concerned of knots and when when you um look online at when different knot makers quote certain things for example they will say not 182 or they'd go ABOK not 182 or something like that and they would then quote that particular knot and 182 basically refers to the knot. So here, here for example we've got knot number 1839 is the lobster boy hitch um, and it gives a little bit of exp explanation now. Um, 1826 is the halter hitch so you know all the different knots are shown and listed in this book and to be honest there is well that is 1845 so there's 1845 knots or variants of knots in this book and if I keep going through let's see what the number goes up to um, and eventually the number goes up to 3,854. So there's 3,854 3, variations or n different knots in this book. Um, and, uh, you know, rope ladders. So it covers rope ladders to uh, um, decorative work here. Um, all sorts. It just It just goes on and on and on. And it really is a beautiful book. It's also, I think, if I recall correctly, it's got some rope tricks in here as well, listed. Um, there's a section, oh yeah, here we are, tricks and puzzles. So I'm actually on the page of tricks and puzzles, that's probably reminded me. Um, it goes hitches to stakes and posts, pile and bollard. And so there's different ways of tying up a boat. I think even a goat, if you want to. Down here, it shows you how to tie um, a marquee or a tent up so which is obviously 1800 the adjustable hitch so in itself it's a beautiful beautiful book with just about everything every single knot that you would wish to find use or learn about so this is my copy of the Ashley book of knots